Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Hines versus Copley. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Hines, your boyfriend and the father of your six-month-old son, Jalen, was recently tragically killed. Since then, you say the defendant and his family have denied your son and the survivor's benefits your son is entitled to. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Copley, you believe the plaintiff is trying to pin her son on your deceased brother for financial gain and to make matters worse, you believe she is manipulating your mother. If mm -hmm. today's results prove your brother isn't the father, you want her out of your lives. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Hines, tell me why you opened the case today. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today to prove to James's family that he's the father of my son. I've had a rough childhood myself, and I even told James himself that I refuse for my child to go through what I've been through. I've come from a broken family, and I'm sorry, Your Honor. It's okay. Take your time. <laughs> I really love you. <sighs> it's been hard. I've been living with her. I've been living with them since I was 17. I've been on my own. I've been on my own really my whole life. And for people, I don't know, I really I honestly don't know where the doubts come from. I don't. Like, they won't help me. They won't even see him. They will. So the family you're saying will not help you with Jalen because they don't believe. I've not one time stepped out on my relationship. And not this one. Has happened all since Mr. Mansfield passed away. Only it literally started after he passed away. Yes, he was murdered in June, and me and his son was down here visiting. We came to see him, and he died when he got off of work. How old was Jalen? He's nine weeks when he died. When Mr. Mansfield passed away, nine weeks. Oh. Yes. Mr. Copley, I want to ask you. Yeah. And I see how hard this is for you as well. Very hard. But you're here because you doubt that James was actually Jalen's biological father. Can you tell the court why you have that doubt? Because she's manipulative. She, I think she's in it just for survivor benefits and uh, the life insurance from my brother. She, uh, I just, I don't, I don't trust her, and, and I think she's using my mom. And so you say you don't trust her? No, I don't trust her. I've, I've lived in the house with them. The whole time that they was there, I was there. Ms. Hines, can you tell the court about the nature of your relationship with Mr. Mansfield? Well, How long were you together? Five years. We basically grew up together. He took my virginity. Um, it was the first for everything, our first kid, everything. So we basically... Of course, we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Yes, our relationship had problems. And so what were all these arguments and fights about? You keep saying we weren't perfect. I know nobody in here is perfect, but what, what was going on? His friends won't, like, they like me. And he would get upset that they would, like, flirt with me and stuff. And I would, I'm not hiding anything. I told him. And then that's when we argue about it. Why didn't you do this? I didn't want no fights or anything. So, Mr. Copley, do you, you said you know about, about these fights. What, what do you remember? Did your brother think... Ms. Hines was seeing other people, was dating other people, sleeping with other people. His best friend, Jordan. His very best friend, Jordan. So, wait. Your brother thought Ms. Hines was having sex with his best friend? Yeah. That's, that's why they was constantly fighting and broke up. Were you fighting over the best friend, Ms. Hines? Yes. You were? Yes. To the, uh, tell him nothing happened. Like, I can't help that he likes me. But he understands that I'm with him. I want to be with James. Understood. So now you're saying you were just friends with him just like James was. I met Jordan before James, actually. We dated before I met him. And um, it was only like a week or so. And Jordan 
he had ended up having another girl in front of my house and we broke up. And then I ended up meeting James a couple days later. And then I, when I went to James's house one day, Jordan had came over and that's how I figured out they were friends. So you knew the best friend first. Yes. I want to hear from this best friend. Jerome, will you please escort Jordan Smith into the courtroom? Hello, Your Honor. Hello, Mr. Smith. Thank you for joining us. I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Have you been intimate with Ms. Hines? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Yes, Your Honor, but this was after James had passed away. And I guess you could say we were just kind of needing someone. We both lost someone that was close to us. So are you claiming you never had any sexual relationship with Ms. Hines before Mr. Mansfield passed away? Yes, that's correct. You did not? I did not have no sexual so relationship. So how soon after his I passing... I think they were having sex before James passed. What did you say, Mr. Copeland? I think they were having sex before James passed. You do? Yeah. And why do you feel that? Because if it's supposed to be your best friend and that's supposed to be the love of your life, how are you going to go sleep with his best friend? How soon after his passing were you all intimate? Two or three weeks. Two or three weeks after? Mm hmm Mr. Copley, do you believe Mr. Smith could be Jalen's biological father? Yes, I do. Your Honor, there's no possibility. <laughs> No possible, no way. I overheard her talking to one of her friends saying that she had sex with Jordan, which I don't know if she knew I knew or not. And I really do believe Jordan's the father. How do you know that? Because I heard her say. He's, he's seen us alone together. Like when James wasn't around at the house. I, I, I've been around him his whole life. I, I lived in the house with my mother and everything. That's, I miss my brother. I, I just want to do this for him. I want to find out what's going on. I, I can help her if she needs it, if this is my nephew. I mean, I want him to be my nephew. I really do. So that way we can have something from him. Can I ask you, did you have doubts prior to the baby being born? I, I couldn't say until I seen him. And then he, he sent me a picture and a text, and he asked me if it looked like him. Does it look like his son? And what did you say? Uh, I... I wanted to be there for him, I, I, so I told him, yeah. But you didn't really believe it? I really didn't, know. So, Ms. Hines, Mr. Mansfield was at Jalen's birth. Yes, Your Honor. Can you tell the court, was he excited? He was thrilled. He was thrilled. Did he First... express doubt? No. Not one time. Did he no. sign the birth certificate? He signed... We signed the papers, but his name is not on the birth certificate. What do you mean he signed the papers, but his name's not on the birth certificate? The hospital has lost it. So you're saying the hospital lost your folder that had every document that Mr. Mansfield had executed on Jalen's behalf? Yes. He was excited signing them. He was thrilled. He's like, I'm really a father. Like, his, these are the words coming out of his mouth. <laughs> he actually cried real tears. Like... <sighs> Mr. Copley, I, I, I need to know this. Were you aware that your little brother had executed everything necessary to acknowledge paternity? No. He didn't say anything about that. He didn't say Instead, nothing. Instead, he sent you a text saying... Asking if, he, if the baby looked like him. If I thought he was the father. So no one sends a text and asks, does the baby look like them, unless they're doubtful. Mm -hmm. well, He's exactly. never one time gave... He never asked or anything. I'm just... I'm tired of all the rumors. I'm, I'm, I'm just here to shut everybody up. That's, that's... <sighs> I think she's wanting money and insurance money from my mom. That is not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to prove that James is the father of my son. All right. I see you have a witness with you. Yes. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Carla Copley. Miss Copley, 
you are Mr. Copley's mother. Yes. And the deceased's mother. Yes. All right. So James was your son. My baby. And yeah. you're here sitting next to Ms. Hines because you believe your son is the biological father of Jalen? I know he is. That's his baby. It's just like him. His eyes, his expression, his skin color, everything. And I love Tay. And I don't doubt anything she says. So are you concerned at all that Ms. Hines and Mr. Smith have admitted to having a sexual relationship two weeks after your son's passing, that your son has witnessed arguments between your son James and Ms. Hines over Mr. Smith? It, it does bother me some, but Jordan's not the father of my grandson. My son is. And so here on the monitor, on the left is a picture of Jalen, and on mm -hmm. the right is a picture of James as mm -hmm. a baby. And you say it's like Identical. James all over again. Yeah. Everything. Smile, the eyes, the face expressions. He's such a happy baby. Like holding James. <laughs> and that's, that's my connection to my son. And here you see a picture of Mr. Smith as a baby as well. It looks nothing like him. Nothing. And you're confident that this is your grandchild. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. So can, can we just be honest and say, are, is there a part of you that's hoping, Miss Copley, because you hope your son left a piece of himself behind for you to love and to raise? I think everything happens for a reason. And that's why Jalen was born, because God was going to take James. Have you prepared yourself? If by some chance this is not your grandson, have you prepared yourself at all, Ms. Copley? No, Your Honor. I haven't because my heart knows that's my grandson. And when your son says to you, Mom, James sent me a picture and he asked if the baby looked like me, which led me to believe he had doubts, does that make you? I don't think he had doubts. I think he was just joking with Randy. My mom needs to open up her eyes and, and start thinking for herself. If it's not his, yeah, put her out. I mean, there's no reason for her to be there. I'm not putting her out, even if it's not his. No. <laughs> they have nowhere to go. And he's been mine since she was pregnant, even before she had him. He's not going down the street. Never. Neither is she. I don't think there's anything left to do except get the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In order to determine paternity, we performed two tests. A relatedness DNA test with Mr. James Manfield's closest biological relative, his mother, Ms. Carla Copley, and a paternity test with Mr. Jordan Smith. With that being said, the DNA results determine if Mr. Mansfield or Mr. Smith is the biological father. The results are as follows. In the case of Hines versus Copley, when it comes to six-month-old Jalen Mansfield and whether Mr. Mansfield or Mr. Smith is the father, it has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Mansfield. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God, Mom. Oh my God. Please, oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I know. <laughs> I love you, Mom.
have your tea. I know. I'm not mad, right? I'm not. I'm not. I love you. I love you. Please be there for Jalen. I will. Please. I'll be there for him. I'm right there. We got the answers we needed. I knew. I already knew. Mom, you did know. This is just like, you don't know how much this just helped. There's so much relief just, just lifted off my shoulders. Because I can, people will leave me alone now. Like, I can actually get help. I can actually move forward. And I want you to start today by going to talk to Dr. Jeff and really be honest about the things that you're feeling so that he can help you get the tools to move forward. All right? Okay. Take care of that beautiful baby. I wish you all the very best. I'm so sorry for your loss. Court is adjourned.